today we're learning about the unit circle and we're going to identify key components for the unit circle and lo locations around the unit circle and we're also going to talk about tangent, sine and cosine as it relates to the unit circle. So think about what we know about sine specifically to the unit circle. We know that sine's opposite over hypotenuse and the hypotenuse in the unit circle is always equal to 1. So that means our sine is equal to the opposite side. And for cosine, we have adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's always going to be adjacent over 1. So the cosine is basically always going to be equal to the adjacent side of our reference angle. We'll talk about that a little bit more at the end. Let's take a look at this first example. Let's figure out what the sine of 4 pi over 3 is based on what we were just looking at. First we have to locate the angle. 4 pi over 3 is bigger than 1 pi. Our reference angle would be 60. So if we think about the sine being opposite, the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. It has to be negative because we're in the third quadrant and our y values are negative there. Let's take a look at this one, the cosine of negative pi over 3. As we graph that, we're going in the negative direction. So that would be 60 degrees or negative 60 degrees. And we're looking at cosine. Cosine's the adjacent. So if we look at our 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know that our hypotenuse is 1 and our adjacent side would be one half. So the cosine of negative pi over three is one half, our adjacent side of our triangle. And since the x values are positive, it's positive one half. Let's take a look at the tangent of 210. For 210, we go around past 180, another 30 degrees. So our reference angle is 30 degrees. As we take a look at that triangle, remember about tangent is opposite over adjacent. Our opposite side is one half, our adjacent side is root three over two. Since we're in the third quadrant, we know our y values are negative and so are our x values. So when we write our ratio of opposite over adjacent, our negatives divide out and we have to divide by a fraction. Then we have to rationalize our denominator which gives us square root of 3 over 3 for our answer. Here is the next problem. Tangent of 5 pi over 4. We have to go beyond pi, another quarter pi, which gives us a 45 degree reference angle. So as we look at our 45, 45, 90 triangle, we remember with a radius of 1, our sides are going to be root 2 over 2. They're both negative because we're in the third quadrant, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So when we divide our fraction, our negatives are going to divide out. In fact, everything divides out, and we get 1 for our answer. Let's take a look at the cosine of 11 pi over 6. Where is 11 pi over 6 located? Let's see if we can do it without drawing a circle. It's almost 2 pi, but not quite. So if we think about it now, it's going to be pi over 6 less than 2 pi, so we've got a 30 degree reference angle. When we take a look at our triangle, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's going to be root 3 over 2 over 1, or root 3 over 2. It's positive because our x values are positive. Go ahead and start your homework.